Let's talk about the Anglican Church. The Anglican Church headquarters is based in England. It has more than 90 million members in the world. It is in over 165 countries. After the Roman Catholic and Orthodox Church, it is the third largest church worldwide. It was founded in 1531 AD. British citizens were members of the Roman Catholic Church. England King Henry VII disagreed with Catholic Pope. He was a Catholic at that time. He married Catherine and they were blessed in the church. Catherine was a widow to his late brother. After years of marriage, Catherine was unable to produce a male child. Many kings need a son to be their successor after death. It was the same as King Henry's case. Henry filed a divorce with Catherine so that he may marry another wife. They went to church for divorce by the Pope and the church leaders denied to divorce the two. The Pope told him he broke rules by marrying his brother's widow. He broke Bible rules in the book stated in the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and chapter 16. The king was furious and he excommunicated the church. He found the church of England. The church rules stated that a king or a queen can lead. The youngest son of King Henry VII, Edward VI, became his successor. He founded the famous book, Book of Common Prayer, which many Anglicans use up to date. After King Edward VI, his half-sister Mary took the throne as the Queen of England. She was head of England Church for five years. Mary was very cruel and months after her throne, she started killing church elders. The first archbishop of the church was Archbishop Thomas Cranmer. Mary was a Catholic sympathizer. She wanted Church of England to follow Catholic rules. She didn't like anyone who was against Catholic rules. All senior members who were against her rule were killed or burnt on fire. After Queen Mary in 1558, Queen Elizabeth I took over the throne. She made the church one of the largest in the world. She combined the Church of England and the Church of Ireland to one church. Queen Elizabeth I spread the church in all British colonies worldwide. The first British who colonized America were Anglican Christians. They built so many churches in America and many Americans joined the Anglican Church. After they left America, the church was called Protestant Episcopal Church. It is still part of the Church of Anglican in England. The Church of England is changed to Anglican Communion. It was changed by Queen Elizabeth I. It is led by a king or a queen. Queen Elizabeth I is supported by Archbishop of Canterbury. It is now led by Queen Elizabeth II of England. She is ruling, supported by Canterbury Bishop. In America, it's called the Episcopal Church. In Scotland, it's called the Scottish Episcopal Church. In Ireland, it is called Church of Ireland. In Canada, Australia, and other countries, it is known as the Anglican Church. The Anglican Church is led by archbishops, bishops, priests, and sometimes deacons. The Anglican has two books, the Bible and the Common Book of Common Prayer, written in 1549. It was written by Archbishop Thomas Cranmer with orders from the King Edward VI. It directs the Anglican Christians to pray every day, even on a Sunday. After the death of Queen Edward VI, Queen Mary the successor arrested and killed the author. He was burnt into fire. Queen Mary was the daughter of the late King Henry VII, and she didn't like what her father did by excommunicating the Catholic Church. She was still believing in Catholic after taking the throne in 1553 AD. She wished... Church of England to follow Catholic rules. Everyone who was against the Catholic rules were burned and killed. She burned the Book of Common Prayer and the author was killed. Thomas Cranmer was arrested, jailed, and finally killed by burning fire. After Queen Mary, Queen Elizabeth I brought back the Book of Common Prayer. It is very important in Anglican Church today. Most Anglican beliefs are found in this book. The two churches have similar rules, the Catholic Church and the Anglican Church. In terms of baptism and Holy Communion, they both have 
they both have virgin mary shrines anglican church priests are free to get married catholic church priests do not allow marriage to the priest anglican church allow gays to become priest or bishop but catholic church don't allow gays to rule in their church tell me what are your thoughts about this in the comment section what do you think about the anglican church